I'm Scott Allen-Miller, and this is my daily life living in Latin America. We are still in Buenos Aires. We're out for another walk, and we're heading into the neighborhoods of Palermo Pacifico, right behind me, and we're going to continue on to Palermo Nuevo. These are sub-barrios within the giant barrio of Palermo, which you could, if you watch my videos, compare to Sutiava. It's really large, so large that it has neighborhoods inside of it, just like we have Belen and La Providencia and Democracia. In Sutiava, we have these sub-neighborhoods, Soho, Hollywood, Nuevo, Botanico, and so forth, Chico in Palermo. So we're going to be doing our best to show those because this is a primo neighborhood for potential expats looking at Buenos Aires. So we're going to do another walking tour. We're going to head into more Palermo right now. All right, you can see the commercial district there. We're looking south uh, into, I believe it's south, into uh, Palermo Hollywood, and this is Palermo Pacifico. Now, not every bit of Palermo has a sub-neighborhood like this. So there's areas you can cross through that are just in Palermo proper, but they're not very large. Most of this area is divided into these well-recognized sub-neighborhoods, and then they have districts within them. So for example, Hollywood has the sub-district of the audiovisual district, which is super confusing, trying to keep track of exactly what's going on within the barrio, because you have the barrio proper, Palermo, the sub-barrio, Hollywood, and then the district within it, uh, which could be Distrito Arcos or Distrito uh, Audiovisual and so forth. But each of these sub-barrios has its own uh, general look and feel. The buildings are different. There's a bit of different history. They came up at different times. I have no idea why they made Palermo into such a single giant uh, place, but they did. And uh, it's very weird. So we do talk about Bitcoin a little bit on the community. I just want to point out, this is a Bitcoin shop right here. They're actually advertising it. Very interesting. That is not something that we see in Nicaragua. We never see a shop like that. Or I've never seen one in the United States either. That's, uh, I have seen them. I believe the last time was in Panama. So not super popular. All right, we're coming up on Santa Fe which runs through the middle of Pacifico. So we're actually gonna walk along this just because it is hard to go anywhere else. And you gotta see a little bit of a different part. Oh, look at the puppies. So many puppies. And it looks like we can get across the street. Let's do this. As we get a little bit more north in Palermo, just in general, we get a lot more wide open and a lot more parks. And as we get even farther north, we'll run into Palermo Botanico. And in that district, it's all parks. Santa Fe is the main northern highway cutting east-west across Palermo. And we're really not that far uh, from the water. It's off to our left. So I'm going to turn here in a second and show you as we get away from all the people. So we have a bus stop right here that we're looking at. This is the Humboldt stop. Uh, and you'll notice that it actually says the center Pacifico there. So you can kind of identify where you are. So as we look kind of this way, the airport, the second airport, not the big international one, the smaller domestic one, it does take international flights, but it's essentially a domestic airport, is right there, right in the city. I could walk to it from here, probably about 45 minutes. Uh, and if we just go straight here, Everything this direction is just a, a little bit, maybe eight blocks away, is the parks, all of the big botanical gardens. And then beyond that is uh, the, Rio, the Rio de la Plata. So that kind of gives you a feeling of what this part of the city is like and why it's laid out the way that it is. All right, we have a busy sidewalk. Being up here on Santa Fe is very loud. So this is not necessarily the best place to walk, but we're not gonna go that far on Santa Fe. And this gives you an idea of just how lively this part is as we get away from the neighborhoods. This is also where the camera gets snatched and someone runs away. So being a little bit, a little bit conscientious of that. It is nice. You see a lot of people in coats. I am in a t-shirt. This is super comfortable weather yesterday and today. I filmed from the bus top yesterday. 
That was a little bit chilly without a coat, but I'm glad I didn't have to deal with one. But I'm just in a black t-shirt, so I'm soaking up a little bit of sunlight. And I've got my cap on. And uh, that's it. Jeans, though, obviously. Oh, look at these dogs. So many dog walkers. Look at all those puppies. They're so cute. Oh. It's a very dog-friendly city. All right, this is the main north-south intersection that divides Palermo. You can see, so these big high-rises here, this is Palermo Nuevo that we're looking at. All of this bit is Pacifico. All right, just gonna show, this is the subway station for Palermo. Boy, it's busy out here. <laughs> so many little shops. Oh, my kids would love a boba tea shop. Another subway entrance. An empanada store, oh, that looks good. All right, let's look at these prices. So that's about, I don't know how many empanadas you get with that, 700. So that's about $5. That's a lot for one empanada, but I have a feeling you get like two or something, or maybe they're huge. We've been getting them a lot of places for one to $2, but they're tiny. All right, pizza by the slice here. I uh, can't really see, and it's very, re very reflective. But there's a very cool. Oh, maybe you can see. Very cool traditional pizza re restaurant. All right, the big highway that we cross is Juan Justo. This should be Godoy, which is the same name as the airport in Leon, Nicaragua. I believe we want to go one more street but I do want to cross over to the other side because I don't know how the crossing of Santa Fe is going to be past this point. So we're going to make this turn to the left and go north at the intersection. I'm going to pause while we do that. All right, that was a massive intersection. So we came from over there. That is the Kentucky Pizzeria. Heaven only knows why it's called that here. And uh, Malanga on the corner, little cafe. It's a big intersection with a lot of bus stops. Uh, but the buses are great. We rode the bus the other day when we were heading out to LT to uh, Ciudad Tigre, and uh, they were very nice, very easy to use. They feel a little bit like a subway the way that they have them managed, which is really cool. So now we're just walking on the north side of Santa Fe. We're just going to head up one block, and we're going to turn into Palermo Nuevo. Oh, look at these cute little! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Oh, my kids would love these. I think that, uh, I really hope you can hear me on this video. It is loud out here with all the buses. That is a negative for sure. Uh, but this is just on the highway. In the, in the streets, in the neighborhoods, it's pretty good. A lot of luggage stores along here. One of the things that Dominic and I have really determined, oh, here we go. Here's a shop that has mate cups. We were looking, it took us a long time to find these that weren't in a big touristy area. Finally, I'm walking by some on the street. Very big, very, very, very big part of the culture here doing mate. If you haven't watched our mate episode, be sure to check that out. I think it's really interesting. And we did buy ourselves 
all of the mate accoutrements so that we're prepared to do it at home. They do sell mate, the tea mix in Nicaragua, but they don't sell the accoutrements. So you gotta come down here and get the cool stuff and this sweet doggy. Hello puppy. All right, this is Palermo Nuevo. And there is a Palermo Viejo as well, which we really haven't seen. It's beyond Soho, which we've been in, but I haven't really shown you guys Soho yet as of this filming. And to get to Viejo, I gotta go all the way through Soho, which is relatively large. So I think I can do that. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get that for you. But at this point, we haven't been there yet. We've driven through this neighborhood. I've not walked it at all. You're heading towards the lake and towards the parks. There's the Japanese gardens, the botanical gardens, the zoo or the old zoo, I'm not really clear on whether it's an active zoo, are all in this general direction. This definitely feels like a very nice neighborhood. but not seeing a ton of restaurants. Much like Hollywood, it was very devoid of restaurants. A lot of apartments, but from what we've seen, there's a lot more, a lot more eating, a lot more places to go out in Soho and Chico and Hollywood and Nuevo and Pacifico are much more places where you just get an apartment. It's all pretty close, though. One thing we've noticed everywhere is that I am very much the only person on the street filming anybody. Like, it is, it is definitely not normal. And that's why I was told, like Valentina said, that nobody... Nobody's out with a camera. Everyone's afraid. And oh, we have something here. What has happened? A lot of fire trucks. We are inside a cordoned area as they're cordoning it. Something's happened over here. Ambulances, police, fire. I have no idea. So anyway, here's the police line we have to go under. They hadn't put it up on the other side yet. So when we were on the train to Tigre that people figured out I was a YouTuber it was like a really big thing. Like they'd never seen one before for whatever reason. It's, uh, it's just not a thing here. Now in Nicaragua, it's very uncommon, but for reasons you can pretty much figure out there's, you know, not as many tourists. There's very few people who have the free time to go out and film and, can afford cameras and it's not a big city. It's very, very much walking through the barrios, which is cool. You guys enjoy, I enjoy, but it's not, it's not something a ton of people can do. You don't need 20 different people making barrio tours. It just doesn't, <laughs> there just isn't the need, but here there's so much to see and do. And uh, so far in my, explorations of YouTubers on Argentina, of course there's lots. None of them are doing barrio walks. All of them are doing the, here's my touristy tour guide to Buenos Aires, which is cool. You get a lot of tourists here, 
loads more than Nicaragua gets. So yeah, I get we need that, but everyone's showing the same 10 things you have to go do. Oh, that's gonna be loud. We're gonna pause for a second. I didn't pause for long because a bunch of puppies came by. Gotta show all the puppies. Beautiful wide streets to walk all the dogs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're everywhere. All right, beautiful wide street here. We just happened to catch the light, we got lucky. Here's a gorgeous building on the right. These colors just work. So subtle and classy. I'm colorblind, so someone's gotta tell me what that is. Get down in those comments, let me know. The windows are kind of gold or maybe mustard. A little bit pale, maybe faded canary. But what's the other color? It's gray to me. Maybe it's gray to you. My wife will tell you, I can't tell the difference. I rarely know when it's gray to me, if it's gray to you, everything's gray. So we've got some pretty serious high rises on the left. See if I can show this to you. This is what I was pointing to when I said Nuevo is over that way. These are some high rises in Nuevo. You can get some, I mean, this is called Nuevo for a reason, right? All these buildings are a bit more modern. Not that one on the corner, but mostly a lot more modern than other neighborhoods in Palermo. And it's got some new high rises as we get towards the water. If I sound like I'm breathing hard, I think we figured out that, uh, oh, they've got the road cordon off here too. They're stopping traffic all the way up here. Yeah, something big happened. So uh, we're pretty confident it's not bronchitis. Uh, we've talked to a number of people and everybody's got COVID that I've been in contact with. So we're pretty sure this is just COVID and I'm fine, no worries. Like I've got a bit of a cough, uh, but it is making me breathe a little bit heavier, but that's not the real issue. Yeah, look at all this traffic that can't get through. We are at De Maria, if anyone's looking. And I forget which road we're on, I should have looked. We are crossing De Maria. Uh, but I'm hoofing it really hard. Not really hard, I'm not like jogging. I'm walking quite briskly because Dominica is currently getting ready to go out because we're gonna go get a late lunch or a early afternoon tea or something. But we're gonna go out and do something. Something, oh, I got the hiccups now, of course. She's been feeling a little bit under the weather as well, but mostly just tired. However, one of the main symptoms of the current, oh, that's a cool car, of the current uh, COVID going around is fatigue. And that's, oh, that is a Fiat pickup truck. I don't know if I've ever seen a Fiat pickup truck. It's kind of nice. Very matte finish. I don't know how that would hold up. The Volcano. Very interesting. I am not aware that Fiat had brought out a truck. <clears throat> we can't get Fiat in, in Nicaragua, so that's a, that's sad. So we are on Fray Justo Santa Maria de Oro. Okay. All right, no light here. We just need to wait. You can see nice modern apartment blocks everywhere. It's tough not knowing at all what areas are expensive or not, because of course, like all of Buenos Aires, except for La Boca, except for La Boca, looks pretty expensive to both my American and my Nicaraguan eye. Uh, but my European eye says, well, it's probably expensive, but not as bad as you think. But in Argentina, the prices are very reasonable right now. And so it may be even less than I think. So it's hard to say. I don't know if we're in like super expensive apartments. I don't know if we're looking at thousands of dollars a month in rent or just a few hundred. It's probably somewhere in between, but I really don't know. And I don't know how they compare one to another. So I can tell you from the feel of where we are that this is a neighborhood that feels like if you were as an expat looking for something a little bit more uh, modern, a little bit more American or European vibe in like a, a more built up modern um, 
suburb, this may work really well. There's a lot of just new buildings, tall buildings, um, but still nice streets, lots of trees, good access to places with restaurants and stuff, but it's a little bit more of a walk. Chances are that makes it reasonably affordable. I would not expect it to be way off in price from other areas. Now, of course, if you're gonna be in this particular buildings with views of the gardens, well, that's gonna be different, of course, right? And those are gonna have premium views. You're gonna pay for that, I guarantee. You can see how beautiful this is. Oh, look at all that. How do we get there? I believe there is a crosswalk up here. We're gonna find one. So this is the north edge of Nuevo. We're gonna show this a little bit. And I'm trying to decide where to cross. Okay, it looks better this way. This is the Folger Cafe. We are crossing Santa Maria de Oro. And uh, that's a cute cafe. You could sit outside today, it'd be great. Oh, of course, construction on the street. Sorry for the noise. Beautiful big sidewalks. Gorgeous trees. Oh, I love the brick with the railing and the garden and the trees. That's nice. Very, very nice. So, you know, I really think this is probably a region of the city that a lot of expats who are looking for something a little bit more comfortable, a little bit less, you know, exotic, a little bit less adventurous might find pretty nice. And of course, all of Palermo known for being safe, lots of restaurants, lots of expats, Lots of, you know, young crowd, things to do, nightlife, but not wild, not crazy. So it's a good middle ground in a lot of ways. Oh, we got some gorgeous building here. I don't know what this is. I just walked past this. I think there's a sign on the corner. Watch it just be someone's house. <laughs> I find that unlikely. What a gorgeous area. Okay, so this is JFK. So very easy. I'm not going to bring up a map because you can look at JFK where it hits the park. North end of JFK. And we are on Avenida del Libertador. All right. No, there's nothing that identifies this house. Maybe it's just some guy's house. Or maybe it's the American Embassy given the flag flying on top. See, si. oh, all right, we're right across the street. And as you can see, once again, not allowed to film from the sidewalk. So this is a pretty regular thing. Now those were not police, that was embassy staff. Uh, now they said that the embassy is this way. I'm not exactly sure where, but they're flying the US flag on that giant building, which I'm kinda can show off to the right. I'm not gonna point it at it because, but those were definitely American staff it looked like. And this is a big park right here. Can't quite read it, my eyes are getting pretty old. This is a big, beautiful park. Look at this like redstone rock here. This is pretty cool. Big, broad paths. So this is the, this is the Nuevo area here. And then that I believe, I have not checked all this before. I didn't check the map perfectly. I believe what we're looking at, those big high rises or not really high rises, those really large buildings that are almost high rises across the park. I believe that is Palermo Chico. So, okay, we're gonna get across this giant boulevard over to the park. I've got the walk light, but I need to move briskly, so I'm gonna stop recording and, nope, we're gonna wait. I'm not gonna, no reason to rush. We have enough time. You can see, got a beautiful statue in the middle of the road and just a beautiful, beautiful spot here. And I'm not gonna turn anymore because we're not allowed to film and there's definitely security looking at me. But it's really noticeable how much in Argentina you cannot just film. Now, no one's taking my camera away, no one's arresting me but the amount that security and police staff are on, in public sidewalks, like, no, you can't film in this public area. I've never seen anything like it. I've never been anywhere in the world. I have never filmed as much as I do in the last couple of years. So those are all things that have changed, but that level of you can't film here uh, and actively and without signs, just expecting people to know that they can't film, all very surprising.
Okay, we're on the other side of Avenida Libertad. I believe that's Libertador, uh, the Avenue of the Liberator. All right, so we got a lot of park over here. There's some curving paths go through, going through here. Some really nice park. This is huge. This whole park complex is enormous. So over here on the left, this is uh, Palermo Nuevo. You can see the buildings are definitely more modern. And then you can see the neighborhoods beyond Palermo down there. Those really big high rises, that is not Palermo. Here we got the park, a lot of people out jogging. I'm on the rock part of the path, but there's also, uh, you can kind of see it, there's a bike path and then the regular sidewalk and then this like walking path for people who are out for strolls, a lot of people out with dogs and such. And then as we turn, there's the building that we got in trouble for filming in front of, and then there's more park over there. And we're gonna be heading this way because we're heading towards the Japanese gardens that are supposed to be absolutely phenomenal, and I don't wanna miss them. There's also the rose gardens are supposed to be amazing. I can't get everything, right? So. We are now over here, but we're going to end this particular video. Now, I was expecting to end it already. I kind of got surprised by the whole you can't film here thing. So I went a little bit farther so we could talk about it and show where we were. That wouldn't make sense to put it together on another video. But that was Nuevo and Pacifico. So it gives you a couple. We didn't get a lot of Pacifico, but it's not the most interesting area, honestly, uh, of Palermo. So Nuevo, much more interesting. But Pacifico would be fine if you were looking as an expat and you're looking for a spot where you want to live. I, I get the feeling that Pacifico would be very affordable. Um, I think Hollywood is a little bit nicer, but honestly, Hollywood has not sold me it's not bad. I mean, certainly Buenos Aires, amazing city. Palermo, great neighborhood. Hollywood be, would be kind of central, and that's good. But um, so far, having seen, I think, Nuevo, just as good. Uh, Soho, from what I've seen, feels better. Of course, it might be a lot more expensive, so that makes sense. Uh, and Chico, from having been through it, so far feels like my favorite of the sub barrios inside of Palermo. Now, of course, my gut says Chico is much more expensive than the others. That would make sense, of course. So maybe that is the case, but that is this little bit. So you have that feel. And coming up in a future episode, we're gonna be picking up from where I'm standing now. So you can be looking forward to it. We're gonna be heading into Palermo Botanico which is pretty beautiful and right off here to my left. So I'll give you just this great park view here as we are on the edge of Botanico with the giant area. Pretty, I'm going to try to look that up. I'm pretty sure that's Chico that we're looking at. And then look at this park and there's a lot of water. I don't know when it rained. I feel like they have a leak in their watering system. And here we are. So Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. And of course, if you would like to help support the channel, it really does help. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Just put that all in. It's going to be up here. It's down in the description. It's in the show notes. It's absolutely everywhere. Uh, go to there and you can donate a coffee or two or five uh, to me. And that really does help. It is expensive to make this show. It is difficult. And we currently don't have any sponsorship. Uh, so all we rely on you guys for everything. We are at this, by the time this goes live, I think you will have it visible. We are starting memberships. We're gonna have a lot of questions about that. I have no idea how we're gonna do it, but YouTube is really pushing us to turn that on. So we're gonna give it a try. I don't love the idea of memberships, but some people have asked for it, just like two or three, like not a lot, um, but there might be some interest. And I'm gonna need your guys' help in telling me how to make it super awesome so that you guys are really happy with the membership system. So I'm relying on you guys for some feedback on that. Hopefully that's on. Essentially, YouTube is paying us to turn it on. So we, we can't turn it down, really. Uh, so that's why we're doing it. I never wanted to do it, but they're really insistent. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try and I'm gonna do my best to make it valuable for you guys, but I definitely need you guys to bring, give me input. And I wanna know your questions and comments and all that. Get down there and let me know. And I will see all of you tomorrow.